Hey, don't worry. Spread your wings. Nothing is impossible. Believe. If I can do it, you can spread your wings. Nothing is impossible. One more deals, the boy Jordan vlogs. And in this video, I will basically be showing you guys what I got inside my HVAC tool bag. So in the top pocket right here, I keep like a few soda stuff. So I have my glasses right here. I just keep this here because I just wanted to put it somewhere I could find it easily. Yeah? So I have my glasses right here. It's a Milwaukee. I use, use it to protect my eyes. Then I have some sanding paper when I'm doing soldering and I have the flux, um, the soldering flux and the solder right here that's what I keep on the top section so if I'm doing any soldering I could just use this bug to just you know, get everything that I really need that's for the top section and this bug is not quite it's not quite expensive I paid like $79 for it on Amazon and so far it looks okay and it actually keep the tools really nice so um if you're gonna purchase a tool bag you could purchase this klein bag it's okay and it's, it actually stands up straight too it doesn't really fall even though it doesn't come with a tough bottom right here it still stands stand up but that's what i like about it so in this section right here I keep like my multimeter, this is my float multimeter for when I'm testing like voltage or continuity, you know, and I have a pair of gloves right here too to protect my hands. In this section right here, I keep like some all in keys. Most calling keys, so I use these for like when I'm opening service valves or closing them. I also have a service wrench right here, too. It's a yellow jacket, so it has like a quarter inch part to it, and you have a three eighths. But I don't really have the adapt adapters for it, so I don't really use it that much. I just use the all in key right here. And last. I keep like my pipe cutters right here. I have my rigid and my husky. Now, let's move to the fun part. fun part I'll be showing you guys what I got inside my everyday tools that I use now this, these are my everyday tools that I use in the HVAC field it's not everything that I have but this, these are just my main tools that I use so in this this section right here keep like my snips, I have my bulldogs right here, whisk, I have some straights, I have my, my left, and my right, I use these almost every day, right here, there's a bunch of screwdrivers that I purchased at Home Depot, the fun thing about these two screwdrivers is that they're magnetic, so, the edge right here is magnetic, it picks up the screw. So I keep a bunch of screwdrivers, keep some Milwaukee ones also. Got my crimpers right here for when I'm doing round pipe. Some Malco. I just call these um cat paws, <laughs> got a shape like a cat paw, you know. But it's actually a crowbar, a small one. I use it to like take up nails and stuff out of the board. I call it a pry bar, whatever. 
This is my um, sheet rock knife, Milwaukee. I've been using it a lot too. All right, here I keep like some utility knife in case I'm gonna cut something, cut some wrap to wrap some ducks. Keep that right there. These are my little stubbies. I use these for like when I'm in tight spaces and I can't reach a screw with a long screwdriver. So I just use these. It's really nice to have. Uh, the flats and the um, Phillips always good to have some stubbies now these small screwdrivers right here I use them when I'm working on like thermostats so this is the Phillips and the flats this is just an additional one that I keep right here and these two right here are screwdrivers too but I use one for like these, these, these can be used to take out like screws, you know, so you have a quarter inch part and you have a 516 section too. So these are, these are really nice to have. Same thing over here. It's a Lennox. It's nice. These, these are nice to have. Because if you don't have a, if you don't have a 516 or a quarter inch chuck, when you're taking out the screws from like the condenser cover and stuff like that you could use these to take it out so it's nice to have i have like my tape measure right in this section now this is a duck stretcher so i use it to like make connections what it, so for example if the duck flange is not really that close you could actually use this to like pull it closer so you could make your connection with your drive so that's what i use this for that's when you're doing duck work. Right here, I got a hammer. I always got to have a hammer in your bag. You never know what you might be eating. <laughs> so this is a square, T-square. Or you can actually call it a square. I use it to, use it to like when um cut ducks and stuff. So I put it on top of the duck and then I mark it. And then, you know, right here I have my flat bar. This is what I use to like bend flanges on the duck. So you have your half inch section, you have your one inch section. Always got to have that. Now this is a volt detector. So let me show you what it do. Detect voltage. So for example, your plug, it tells you the voltage is there, you know? So if I put it on the wire right here, this is a hot wire right here. That's a neutral nice to have in case you don't know which wire is the live wire right you have my level my standing level you know have my husky voice grip a little small needle nose pliers just some electrical tape tape of my wires extra tape measure always good to have some electrical wires in the back too now this this is a flaring tool i use this for like when i'm working on mini split units you know to make like um this basically make a lip on the front of the pipe so you put the pipe to the correct size and then i use this this goes with it this is this goes with the flaring tool so the pipe comes up through the hole right here it's correct size and then you use this to make a lip on top after you make a lip then you're going to slide a nut on, on, the, on the pipe so it doesn't come off i'm going to be showing you a video on that but yeah i always got to have a little flaring tool this is my striker i use this for like when i'm brazing to light the torch a few zip ties right here. I was gonna have a few zip ties in case I'm gonna be strapping the lines together. Keep some wire nuts also for when I'm doing wiring. These are just some um, hose clamps. Like when you're gonna do a condensate pump, just put the hose clamp on and tie it to the, to the tube. So I have like a few. Adjustables, you have it. 
this is my um, 10 inch this is 8 inch I have, a, I have two 6 inch right here I have my channel locks westward this is a westward channel locks and I have some pliers linesman pliers and my wire stripper So that's it guys that's what i got in, inside my tool bag so um if you're gonna purchase a tool bag you could get klein milwaukee or even the vita pro pack tech pack but that's expensive but for start you could get a klein bag it's it's quite good to keep the tools organized and everything well yeah, guys thanks for watching this video